Well, in the past I have made a lot of videos on the Redmi Note 3. But what I have never done is to make a video on a very popular ROM except the double R's. Today is one of those days that I make one. Don't worry, this one is pretty much at par with the other ones that you might have seen on my channel. This is the Sony Xperia OS on the Redmi Note 3. Let's get started. The drill is getting too much on my nerves these days. Basically, to install this ROM, head on over to the description box, download the ROM and the gapps package. And if you might, you might download the XOSP apps as well. Power off your device and reboot to DWRP recovery by pressing the volume up and the power buttons together. Once in, go to wipe and select advanced wipe and check all Dalvik, system, data and cache and do the swipe. From there, hit install and select the ROM from the array of folders along with the gapps and again do the swipe. And then hit reboot. We are done. Let's boot up. The very first G will make it stand out to you. Well, that rhymed. This ROM does not come with any sort of pixel launcherish type of launcher. It has its own to crown it. While it resembles an Android Marshmallow type of one, but once we go in the app drawer, we can swipe left to find some app recommendations from Google Play Store, which will basically be dependent upon your Google Play search history. Neat enough. As we dig in further into settings, this one is running on the latest Android 7.1.2 on the May patch level. Okay. Settings houses another tab called the Expedia settings. Going in it, we have status bar customization options. You know, I am tired of repeating all the very same things like double tap, stickers and so on over there. As you can see on your screen, all the basic options are there. Lock screen has DT2S, which is again a double tap option. And if you want to mess around with your buttons, then you can do it here as well. Because in the buttons tab, we have virtual navigation button options, with basically you can select if you want the long press or the double press and they are also present and accounted for. Anyhow, this ROM does not have the Viper equalizer. The developer has typed down an entire thesis of why it's not there. Considered. But if you install the Xperia apps along with the ROM, you get a set of pretty interesting add-ons. The first and the most useful is the battery analyzer. Yup, it gives you a full scale analysis of your battery life including per app consumption and the charging time. This can really be helpful at times. The weather app is beautiful to look at if I may add and functions decently just like the music app which is pretty much my way to go these days. And guys, I forgot to mention one thing. Don't worry, you just don't need to look at my face. VoLD is working absolutely fine. Geo 4G data works. The calls are also working. You don't need to flash any kind of firmware and that stuff. So yeah, not to worry about that. Because many of you people were asking me. Anyhow, you just need to give this ROM a little bit time to be stable. Because at the very first moment that you are going to install this ROM, this is not gonna be that stable at all because you're gonna find glitches you're gonna find bugs but I have been using this ROM for the past four weeks I would say and now it has become pretty stable and quite suitable as a daily driver cons I would not add any because I did not find any kind of major cons and ones which are present are really not noticeable 
and uh, they are not counted for as well well i have spoken enough i guess it's your time to do your part if you like this video don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and i know this is cliche but i keep repeating this in every video but still have to do it for a living press that red subscribe button now and for more videos on the redmi note 3 mi 5 low color 2 and wired one euphoria moto g5 plus and blah blue blah press that bell icon to let youtube notify you whenever i put up a new video don't forget to stay a freak and stay a geek thanks a lot for watching guys